welcome back to Bros of Rides. In today's episode, I'm going to go over RNG's new single sided swing arm stand for the 2018 and up CB1000R. Uh, I went ahead and purchased both the single sided uh, rear swing arm uh, paddock stand as well as their front paddock stand. So I'll go over both with you in this episode. Let's get to it. Now, first off, we have the front stand. Uh, it comes together in two separate pieces. You just take this top piece uh, and, and connect the two uh, wheel lower pieces together. And I tell you, it's pretty, it's pretty rock solid. It's pretty firm. They're not coming back apart. Another thing you have to do is insert the, the bars that will actually go under and support the front shaft brace. Other than that, they're very well made. The steel tubing is very, very thick. I like that. Maybe a little spotchy on their paint or powder coating. Already got some chips here and I've only used it one time. So something uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on. It, it rolls very well. I can't complain with that. Overall, it seems to be pretty well made together. Now the rear is a whole nother beast. The same quality, same size as the front one. So I, I definitely trust that it's going to work for a long time. Like I said on the other one, the, the paint or powder coating must be really thin for it to already be nicking off after one use. Have to keep an eye on that one. But the welds on them, individual welds are really great. The shaft that actually goes into the rear wheel, it comes in a separate box that you install. You install it from the outside inwards. It will not go the other way because it's slightly tapered. And then there's two ring clips that you have to put on. A one here at the front, one here at the rear. Pretty easy to do. Just need to get yourself a set of ring pliers and set it to interior so it expands it and it just slips right over. But you're going to need a pair of these. You can't, you're not going to be able to get on those ring clips without them. And from there, to actually install it in the rear wheel, you have to take off this end piece. There's a Allen key. The end key size for this is a six millimeter. I mean, honestly, you can just do it by finger. Pulls right off. Now it'll allow you to stick it in from the left hand side all the way across and then this will keep it permanently on the jack stand. Now, several people are asking about how this application actually works and you just slide it into the rear shaft and it will go all the way in to the flat spot. You can see here that the rear paddock stand is all the way in as far as I'm going to be, be able to get it to go. There is a small little flat disc of part of the uh, paddock stand that is larger than the size of the opening. Start pushing down on the bar, pushing a downward force. That's going to roll it to where the other rear wheel starts touching. And then you just keep putting a little bit more downward force on it. So you get it all the way in place. Now you can see from here, we got it in neutral. We can freely spin the whole wheel. There was a question asked uh, if you could take off this rear wheel. It seems like you probably could. Don't know that I would recommend it necessarily. Go ahead and insert your, your little tire stop back there. Okay, to lift up the front end, you need to set your slider bars accordingly to where they can fit right there in that perch. Try to get it right in the center and you shouldn't have any issues. Too wide and it'll probably slip off. So you wanna be center or a little bit more inward. Of course, at the same time, being more inward might actually allow it to slip inside as well. So do your best to make sure you got that aligned right in the correct spot and push down. I don't recommend doing this if the rear is not on the jack as well. Or if you're planning on doing the rear, do the rear first and then the front. Doing just the front, I believe would be just fine. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bros of Rides. If you liked what you saw today here, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. See you next time here on Bros of Rides.